Welcome to my first vegetable garden. Today I'm going to show you how to repair tears that occur in the plastic right along the seam of the zipper. And you can see some of the blue painter's tape that I've used. That's all areas where tears have started. I like this greenhouse. It's effective for growing cool weather crops like lettuce, spinach, onions inside. However, it, it's sort of cheaply made. And the stitching along the zipper and where the plastic and the zipper meet is tearing. And I'm going to show you how to repair that using painter's tape, duct tape, and just some plain old, a plain old staple gun. The first thing you want to do is make sure, let me get this in focus, is make sure you dry both sides of the plastic. And you can see right up here, my finger's coming through. And basically what's happening is where the stitching on the green seam goes into the plastic, it puts uh, holes in there, maybe a quarter inch apart, and it's just not strong enough to, um, it actually weakens the plastic, so therefore it's not strong enough to really deal with the opening and closing that you're doing with the zipper. So over time, there's a gap that's forming. And the way that I've decided to take care of this is just to strengthen it up using uh, painter's tape and duct tape. You don't need to use the standard um, blue painter's tape if you don't want to. You could just go with duct tape. But the, and I'm using this because I just happen to have it in the house. It's thinner. And all you're going to do, and I'll leave that piece there, is you're going to put a piece on the underside and fold it over mostly to the zipper. And still in here, there's some stickiness. There's a little gap. And you're going to take the other piece of tape and put it just along the green seam. It doesn't have to be perfect. Make sure you don't get it into, I guess, the tongs of the zipper, the teeth of the zipper. And you're gonna press this together. And by leaving a little gap where the tear is um, in here, when you put the blue tape on this side, you're exposing a sticky side. And when you put it on this side, you're sandwiching the two sticky sides together. So that's going to just really support the tear. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go down the whole length of, of my zippers on both sides, put the blue tape down, and then I'm gonna show you what I do with the duct tape. You don't have to put the blue tape down if you don't want to, you could just use the duct tape. The most important thing to really do is that we're gonna put duct tape down the whole length of the zipper. And you can see right in here where the plastic goes to the zipper and it's stitched in, and this is the area that's ripping. So we're really reinforcing this whole area using the blue tape, using the duct tape. And you don't have to follow this exact method, but the general idea works. You're gonna need two people to do this too. My son's holding this to keep the plastic tight. It's the easiest way to do it. And you're just gonna take about two foot strips and you're gonna line the tape up right along the zipper. Make sure that you cover this plastic area. That's gonna reinforce it and we're also gonna put staples in. And you're gonna do both sides and just line it up just like that. Making sure you stick it on really well. And you would do that for the whole length of the zipper on this side, the whole length on this side, and then also down the front side. So I'm gonna finish that up and I'll show you the next step after that. I've taped the inner part of the greenhouse to reinforce it. And again, now I'm on the outside, you're gonna put duct tape right down this length again. And you can see right here, the stitching that attaches to the plastic. And that again is the weakness. So I wanna run the duct tape right along this line so that I have duct tape on, on the back side, duct tape on the front side. And then next I'm gonna come and put staples in here to hold it in. And again, it's about, a two foot piece of duct tape, have somebody hold it and just line it up so that you're covering the stitching all the way down. And it's fine if it has wrinkles, nothing has to be perfect. But this will reinforce the zipper. So I'm gonna do the rest of the length of the zipper, then I'm gonna come back and show you how I uh, staple it in. This is the final repair on the greenhouse tears. And again, both sides got duct taped right along the edge of the zipper so that the duct tape 
covered the stitching between the actual zipper and the plastic. And right here, uh, basically into the stitching, into the cloth part of the zipper, you know, through the back side, of course, um, I put a staple in, and that's just really to secure the zipper and hopefully prevent future tears. The duct tape is going to act like a, bar uh, like a reinforcement barrier, so this should hold, and I should get at least a couple of years out of the zipper. It was really um, on course to completely tear out, and then I'd have to find a, a, a whole new zipper system. I heard that you can actually buy uh, zippers that are sticky and you can peel them off and then stick them onto the plastic and, and actually install a whole new zipper. Over on this side I did the same thing right down the line and I actually put a staple out here. You probably don't need that but that'll just keep in case over time when water and stuff is getting there that will just keep the duct tape from peeling back. The last thing that I wanted to uh, have you do is after you put the staple in you really want to press in the point of the staple because you don't want to reach in here and cut your finger. And you can see that over here I did the whole side. It's been stapled. It's a lot more secure than it was and it's actually about time. This is the windiest day that I've had since I've had this up and it's starting to lift the whole greenhouse. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please check out my blog at www.therustedgarden.blogspot.com and also check out my other YouTube videos. Thanks.